All right, we good. We live. You ready? You ready? Okay. What well, we say? Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> hear, hear ye, hear ye. All right. Before we get started, we giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shai, Bahasim, Rakak with Das. We give them double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Barakathama to the Akims. You know what I'm saying? Out there teaching the gospel. What are we gonna start off with? What was we talking about? We got some spices. Man, it's getting lit out here today. Look, last week we was out here. It was snowing. It was a blizzard. You know, it was hailing. <laughs> now it's a bright, warm, sunny day. You know, how y'all doing? You checking out? You like that, don't you? It's pretty nice. Very, very nice. See, what is that scripture that we uh we make a? Uh... Hey, let's get that First Corinthians. There's people looking at us funny. There's a lot of people out here right now. They're looking at us like we crazy. You know, it's talking about how they look at me like a spectacle. It's like, yeah, in First Corinthians, either one or two, somewhere at the beginning. I think you might be mixing two different. He's probably made spectacles and angels and stuff like that. Unto the or, world. Yeah. Or we're as fools for Christ's sake. Ain't the one Yeah, cause they look at they look at us like we crazy. Like, there's a lot of people out here. We're out here we're wearing the garments, you know. But we out here to prophesy the destruction of America. <laughs> it's so bright I can't see nothing. Spectacle. S P E C T. Oh great, my keyboard's not working. S P E C. S P S P E C T. Sorry, y'all. Bear, we, we we didn't plan this out very well, did we? Yes. What was it? Oh, uh, I was yeah. I knew it was in there somewhere. Sorry. This is First uh, Corinthians four and nine. It says, "For I think that God has set forth us the apostles last, as it was appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men." Oh, yeah, you was right. That is the one. Yes, yeah, because we made a spectacle. I always said even a under angels. Because, you know, the angels, they see us out here teaching. Really, the angels, they rejoicing when we come out here and we teach. What's that one scripture that said? That, uh, the angels in heaven rejoice over one sinner to repent, you know, or something like that. So even the, the angels, they said we protected by the angels. They surrounded us. Whew. With all these fools out here. You know, the Lord, he's going to protect us from these fools. What's it? We surrounded by demons, the heathens, the blasphemers. He says, uh, even, oh, it's like, for we are fools for my shiach's sake. Uh, so they'll say, yeah, well, you're fools for Christ's sake. <laughs> so we, we're we fools for your how shall I say? Okay, we, we look like a fool. We come out here like we're going to wear the garments. We're going to come out here and we're going to teach. We're not going to be afraid to teach. Okay? I got to start speaking a little louder. I sounded like I was scared or something. Shit. You know? Shit. You got to come out here and lift up your voice. What's the script? Uh, was that Isaiah? Lift up your voice like a trumpet yeah. and show my people their transgressions. Yeah, you can't be out here talking like you're scared. <laughs> uh, be ye as my... Uh, be ye... What? Oh, it's like a but ye are wise in my shiak. That's what that's what you know, we look like we fools and stupid, but really we wise. We the wisest people really, you know, through the spirit. You know, of course Esau he's wiser than Daniel, but we wise in the spirit than, than anybody in this earth. You know what I'm saying? But we look crazy though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I came back to the realization this morning. I was talk, talking to my son, we was talking about ancient history. I was like, damn, I'm a damn expert on ancient history. You know, I just realized it, like damn. Like, you, we be knowing more than the people on TV. That's crazy. Because we's out uh, on OSU teaching, right? I, one day this uh, professor came out. He was talking to us. He was a history professor. And we was doing more talking to him. He was listening. He was like, mm, wow, that's interesting, you know? He was going hard. He was listening. He was learning. Says, but you are strong, you are honorable, but we are despised. 
Uh, yeah, they, they, we get despised out here. People look at us like we're despicable. You know, they look at us they're like, they laugh at us. You know, they, just, they turn their nose up at us. That's the funny thing. That, you know what I'm saying? Y'all look at us like that now, but eventually y'all going to be seeking the prophets. It was the Amos 8, I would believe, where it said uh, they shall um, go to and fro. You know what I'm saying? Look for the prophets because right now we look like, uh, it's going to say it too, we're the offscoring of the earth. But now everybody going to be seeking us, you know what I'm saying? And that's uh, funny too because they look at, look at us like we're crazy, but they're a bunch of creepy fucking weirdos out here. You know, you got all these LGBT weirdos. But they'll look at it, they'll say something to us. They won't say something to them, but they say something to us, you know? It says, even unto this present time, uh, hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. So right now we look through. Oh yeah, we look through. Uh, they look like y'all through. They look at it, they think we bums. They're like, y'all look like some bums. They be like, you all look like you came out of the trash cans. Making fun of our garments, you know. Y'all the ones that's through. We see who's gonna be through when the missiles hit. When the missiles is hitting, we gonna see who's through. We gonna see who get turned into pile of ashes. We gonna see who's getting beamed up and delivered. That's what we gonna see. Is that it's all gonna come down to the missiles. Yeah, we, in, we in a good place. Cause like you said we, they said we look like bums and all that shit. But Lord said he gonna lift up the uh, the beggar from the dunghill. So. Somebody got to be in that position. You know what I'm saying? All right, so it says, uh, in labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we Say suffer. being reviled. We are reviled. You get on YouTube, everybody talking shit about us. Oh, I forgot. Is this on YouTube? Oh, we just go through the spirit. Like, when you have vocab Malone, you know, guys like that, they always come against us. Hey, read that again. That's key, because well, how come they doing this? Read that again. How, why is everybody got a problem with us? What do we do to y'all? You know? What's the, what's the big deal? Why are you so mad? Read that. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. We in labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer. Yeah, so we get reviled, we bless, being per Really, that's a blessing, you know, these fools coming against us. That's really a blessing unto us. Hey, that's the blessing of Jacob. What did the blessing of Jacob say? It was bless who blesses thee and curse be cursed, whoever curses thee. So whoever coming up against us throwing curses, if you make a video about us trying to say we're wicked and evil, you know, trying to undermine the work of the Lord, you bring a curse unto yourself. You know, really, and that's a blessing unto us. It says, being defamed, we entreat. Uh, we are made as the filth of the earth. We are the offscoring of all things. Yeah, we the like day. the filth of the earth. Like, you try to talk about these things to your family members and stuff. Say so you got the family dinner, you know, the family reunion, and you're going to just get the whole family together. Let's teach them the Bible. Let's see how well that goes for you. You know? They're going to look at you like you're the filth of the earth. They'll say, oh, you ruined the party. You know? Don't, you're not welcome back. That's what's going to happen. You be telling your family about the scriptures, you know, you go to the house, you know, hit them with the, uh, tell them America's going to be destroyed. They used to, sometimes. I don't really pee around the motherfuckers like that. That's like, that's just like, closest, closest family. And they ain't going, they ain't going to receive it. If you tell them they're an Israelite, they're not going to receive it. They're going to look at, look at you like you're stupid, you know what I mean? Like, this dude's stupid, he's brainwashed. They'll say you're brainwashed. Uh, he's, they'll say we're in a cult. We're in a cult, but you're uneducated and ignorant, retarded. You know, don't know. The av average person doesn't know anything at all about history. They've never even heard of the Byzantine Empire. Okay, they've never heard of the Holy Roman Empire. They don't know about nothing. Guaranteed, we got asking people. They ain't gonna know nothing. They're totally clueless. This is uh, Sirach 10, and uh, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at 20, uh, says, let me see, hold on, yeah, 20 says, among brethren, he that is chief is honorable, so are they that fear the Lord in his eyes. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, go ahead. You got it. I don't want to get that point, because like, we were just talking about, like, we look like bums and all that shit, whatever the case is, but 
but and people look at these people in, in their in their eyes they look at people that's honorable like fucking famous people and shit like they're fucking honorable but really the ones that fear the lord those are the people that's really valued and honorable not these so-called people you know what i'm saying well, the way we feel i feel like a champion you know, when you're out here teaching you know you feel like a uh, you know we feel like the Lord put the spirit. You get bold when you come mm -hmm. out here. The Lord put the spirit on you. We feel unstoppable, you know. You get that unstoppable spirit. What's up? What's that word? It's like you know Dragon Ball Z when you get all charged up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's just like it's just like it's like you know how you, you fucking do something like 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 a skill that you're doing. It's like real hard, but you're doing it so much. And you're so good at it now. You making the shit look easy. You know what I'm saying? To the point where you you pretty much having fun with it. And that's how we're doing with the word of the, of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You know, balance, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to have fun with this, but, you know, the people, they mad, they through. They, they, they can't figure this out, but we can. You know what I'm saying? That's why we happy. You know what I'm saying? But it says, uh, the fear of the Lord goeth before the obtaining of authority, but roughness and pride is a losing thereof. It says, uh, whether he be rich, noble, or poor, their glory is the fear of the Lord. Let me read that again. It says, whether he be rich, noble, or poor, which right now we in this you know, poor state. It says, their glory is the fear of the Lord. That's why we so, you know, lively because our glory, we glory in how much we outside. We don't glory in riches. And that's why people, they, they need a they need a big house, a wife, and kids. We don't need all that shit. We just need we just need the spirit of how much shot and brotherhood, and we cool. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's what that's what satisfies us. Uh, it says uh, it is not meet to despise the poor man to have understanding. Ooh, the poor. Because we'll be telling people these things. And like, oh, you ain't nobody. You live in the hood. Or, you know what I'm saying? They're like, you just broke. You don't know nothing. <laughs> hey, what about the 12 disciples? Was they rich men? From, you know, they wasn't rich men. They wasn't learned men. They didn't go to no college and universities. They was working class men. You know what I'm saying? Just like us. You think the the Lord going to give this knowledge to the rich man? You know? What he said is easier for a, a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for the rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So the Lord, he gave us his truth, man, his treasure. Oh, hold up. When the Lord delivered the Egyptians out of Egypt, was they rich? They was, sla they was in slavery. You know what I mean? They was in slavery, but he delivered them. He ain't delivered the Egyptians. They killed them. And then when Israel went up out of Egypt, they took all the Egyptians' gold and everything with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they, they, taking every, they didn't take everything, but they took a lot. Okay, that's what y'all owed us. We took what y'all was, you know? What was fair and just, that's what we took. It says, uh, neither is it convenient to magnify a sinful man. Great men and judges and um, continents shall be honored Yet there is none of them greater than he that feareth the Lord. Yep, greater than he that feareth the Lord. Fire. Fire. It says, Unto the servant that is wise shall they that are free do service. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's what you're you looking at. Because you, you, especially so-called American people, Ugh. Esau and all that shit, you, you, you got that the idea of freedom. Y'all free. Do whatever you want. But you gonna, now we the servants under you. But we wise servants, y'all gonna do service unto us when the kingdom of heaven comes. You know what I'm saying? There ain't gonna be no boating. <laughs> True. We're gonna be in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got a scripture on that. Go ahead. It says, uh, it says, and he that have knowledge will not grudge when he is reformed. Uh, be not wise and be not overwise in doing thy business and boast not of thyself in the time of thy distress. Better is he that laboreth and laboreth in all things than he that boasts of himself and wants a breath. Let me see, hold on, I think there's one more. Okay, that was it, I guess. I know there was something, but I can't find it. Shit. I think there was, let me see. Yeah, you go ahead, I can't find it. I was just reading, I was looking for a scripture, but I don't know, it's not really going to, it's kind of the same thing. Oh, oh go ahead. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Um, Sirach 11. In five says, this is my last point. Um, five it says, many kings have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of have worn the crown. Uh, worn the crown. Sorry. One that was never thought of. Oh, even King David. 
Okay, King David, they say because he was the smallest one out of all his brothers or whatever, the youngest. They, they, they say he can't be king. That's why the, uh, the Lord said, look not onto the size of stature, because the Lord don't see as man see us. The Lord don't look on the outward appearance. He looks upon the heart. And he was a shepherd. Yeah, and he's a shepherd. Yeah. That's what uh, Amos said, because he was like, Amos, he was, uh, I believe he was, he was a farmer, a shepherd, something like that. He was I'm just a, a shepherd, something like that, a farmer, something like that. I just take care of the fig trees, some shit. And he was like, you know, but he's, a, he's, a, he's one of the great prophets. They call them what are they, uh, the underdogs. You know what I'm saying? That's how oh, the that, underdog. It happens all throughout movies. Like Spider Man, this nigga weak as hell. He got bit by a spider. He got beat up by everybody. Yeah, he got he got, he got bit by a spider. Now this nigga, he, he don't need glasses no more. He can he dodge and punches and shit. The Lord always uses, you know, the weak of the but that but looks like everybody. He looks like weak to everybody, but really he gonna raise him up. Wait, there's gonna be an end to every empire. America's gonna fall just like the ancient Roman Empire fell. It's like all the other beasts fell. All them other beasts got slain. You know what I'm saying? America's gonna be destroyed. So they like you can see the end of it right now. Now people they don't even trust in the elections no more. You got people, everybody saying the elections are fraud. That's gonna be beautiful, man. Hopefully they start shooting out here soon. Oh actually I shouldn't say that on YouTube. I'll probably delete this for that. Uh, Psalms, I was just going to read this, Psalm 66 and 1. Make a joy, joyful noise unto the Most High, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make make his praise glorious. Say unto the Most High, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. Ha. Through the greatness of the Lord's power, all of our enemies, they're going to submit themselves unto us. They're going to be begging us, like, please don't hit me. You know what I mean? Stop it. Please show me some mercy. No muss. <laughs> That's what these devils going to get. Y'all talking about voting. I be watching the route. I was watching some Alex Jones, and they was going, uh, they was talking about uh, locking up Joe Biden. You know how they say, lock him up, lock him up. There ain't going to be no locking him up. Okay, they're going to be getting whipped. Yeah, that's what's going to be happening. They're going into slavery. How come nobody else teaches that? We, we the only ones that teach that. To say our enemies, they're going into slavery. They're going to be our, they, they're going to be our servants. They'll say that's hate speech or something, though, you know. That's just what the, the Holy Bible says. It says it right here, look. Saying to the Most High, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing thy name, Salah. Come and see the works of the Most High. He is terrible. And his doing toward the children of men. So the works of the Lord, the power of the Lord is going to be terrible unto you heathens out here. Said the children of men. It is going to be terrible. Just like he was terrible unto the Egyptians. He's going to be terrible unto Babylon. He turned to see in the dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He ruled by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not... The rebellious exalt themselves. Oh, I said, let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Starting with the Edomites. They, they rebellious. Now they exalting themselves right now. You see, they exalting themselves. They flexing their power, showing their teeth. Especially they doing that now with this coronavirus shit. They going to end up trying to microchip everybody with a mark of the beast. It says, uh, where we go? Our bless, uh, Oh, bless our power, ye people, and make the voice of his praise be heard, which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. For thou, O power, have proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. And that goes in what we was talking about earlier, about how people persecute us. We got people coming against, hating on us. You know, we getting persecuted. People come out here trying to fight us. You know, doing all kind of dumb shit. That's getting tried like that, that silver is tried. That's the Lord's sin if you really bout it. Thou brought us into the, into the net. Thou hast laid affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused, caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou brought us... Ooh, but look, but thou brought us, us out into a wealthy place. Whew. 
These are gonna bring us to a wealthy place. Hey, just like Israel, they left Egypt, they took all the gold and all that. Bro, we going into the kingdom, we getting all that gold. All that gold, all that silver. We take all, everything, all that land. Okay, we getting everything. We gonna have everything on lock. Israel gonna be ruling over all nations with a rod of iron. We gonna have everything. You want anything, you gonna have to come through us. Mm. Remember your boy? He's like, if you want anything, you gonna have to come through us. You gonna have to come through me. He's like, what you need? You need to, you know? We're gonna have all the goods. And in the kingdom, there ain't gonna be no bullshit merchandise either. It's gonna be quality. It's gonna be quality. We're gonna have that quality. Quality fabrics. Okay? Quality everything. Now they got the throwaway uh, culture now. Like in America, everything you buy from the store lasts a couple weeks. You gotta throw it away. Nothing lasts. Trash. Just some trash. Fake. Everything is fake. <laughs> fake ass gold and shit. Yeah. Like, come on, man. It's, in our kingdom, it's gonna be gold and precious stones everywhere. There ain't gonna be no shortage of it. You know what I'm saying? With a technology, we're gonna have to go blow your head off. There ain't gonna be no cars either. There ain't gonna be none of that. Man, this is a long song, though, but this is pretty fire. Uh, Psalm 66 and 8. Oh, bless our power, ye people. And make the voice of of his praise to be heard. Oh, make the voice of his praise to be heard. You, we doing that? Make a voice of his praise to be heard by coming out here. These people they hearing us because we out here speaking. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Real quick, uh, Psalm seventy two because it's talking about how we have the wealth. I'm just gonna skip around a little bit. Oh, the wealth. Oh yeah, because we're gonna enter into a. We're going to be wealthy in the kingdom, obviously, but that's not the main thing in the kingdom. But we are going to be wealthy as hell. We're going to have all the riches. We're going to be chilling. You know what I'm saying? So the main thing you should be seeking for the kingdom is that the, you know, the Lord's name is going to be exalted all over the earth. Yep. yep. That's the main thing you should be hoping for, right? And then Proverbs says, wisdom, roughly paraphrasing, wisdom is, is wealth. I, hold up. Yeah. I got to get it real quick. This is one of the Wisdom and knowledge, yeah. That's money right there. Wisdom is, you know, that's way more valuable than money. Yeah. You get wisdom for free, too. You know? I mean, as long as you pay your internet bill, you can get it on the internet, bro. You be on there, all, you know? You be on there for all night learning, man. You be up all night. And it's just never ending. Just, just like you said, uh, first and foremost is... is most High's name is altered, and you know righteousness. Just like King Solomon, he that's that's the, that's the right mindset because he prayed first for the Lord to give him the understanding so he can judge his people, and then for a result. Then since you did that, now you are gonna have riches and glory because that's what that's what that's what righteousness is. Think about it. If you if you doing everything righteous in the right way, the things is gonna flourish. Yeah. But if you're doing it wickedly, then everything's going to be barren and it's, it's going to be trash. dark. Yeah. It's going to be dark. You're being darkness and decay. Mm -hmm. Wickedness breeds wickedness. It breeds death. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm, uh, I'm about to find it. pretty much said in Proverbs, like, like uh, if, you, if you get wisdom in the right hand, it's pretty much like uh, 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 wealth and Riches or something like that. I can't remember, but it's something like that. I got. I can't. I ain't trying to look for it. I'm waste too much time. I'm gonna read this real quick. Psalm 72. This time, you have when how Shai comes back. Uh, shit. It's a lot. Well, wait, you got a lot, right? You got a lot left. I mean, it's a lot, but go ahead. I can read it. <laughs> I don't know how I got to this, but I just read. It. I was like, this is fire. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read a couple. Um, Psalm 72. And one, give the king thy judges, O God. I mean, judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and, the, and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to thy people and to the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. Oh, he's going to break he gonna break in pieces the oppressor. Who's the main oppressor? Is the Esau. Sorry, he's going he gonna to get broken in pieces. That's what's going to happen. He's going to get broken in pieces. He's going to get smashed. We're going to Hulk smash that fool. Him and his children, his children's children, for a thousand, for a thousand years, he's gonna get smashed to pieces. It says, "They shall fear thee as long as the sun and the moon endure throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In his day shall the righteous flourish, and 
abundance of peace so long as the moon and dirt. Who? Where are you at again? Psalm 72. Oh, that's that fire scripture. It said, he shot, and this is one of my main points, he shot have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river even unto the ends of the earth. You know, Esau, he got that on the left hand side. He got, so he took care of, he took over all that Panama Canal shit. You can be yeah. over there in the fucking South China Seas over there. He over everywhere. Yeah. He every damn where. He got that little island right, I forget what it's called underneath India. It's an air, like an air base there. He everywhere. That's how he grew. That's, how that's one way he got his riches. He got, he got, uh, I was in the Marines. I was stationed on uh, Camp Fuji at Mount Fuji in Japan. The Marines got bases in Japan, you know? All kind of bases. Okinawa is a big ass Marine Corps base now. The United States took it over in World War II. It says, Why are you over there in Japan, bro? You know what I'm saying? You need to get up out. It's like, hey, the Lord going to get you up out of there. That's who's going to get you up out of there. It says, uh, it says, now let me skip down to, um, go 10. It says, the kings of Tarshish, Tarshish, you know, the Isos shall bring presents. The kings of, I remember watching this show. It was, uh, it was about the Ming Dynasty, whatever. And they had, Nigga, he was, you know, on his throne or whatever. He had, like, different, like, he had, like, hundreds of different nations, people coming up. And each of them have gifts. All oh, this is gold from, you know, this is incense yeah. from, you know what I'm saying? That's how it's going to be in the kingdom. Just like when they brought all the gifts to Solomon. Yeah. Where they, like, the queen and she were brought him all, all that gold and everything. But yeah, people from all nations, they're going to glad. They're going to bring it to us with a smile on their face. They're not going to be like, oh, man, I had to give up my gold. They're going to be, no. They're going to do it with a smile on their face, and they're going to bow down. With their face to the earth. They won't even look us in the eyes. Go ahead. It says, the, uh, the kings of Sheba and Sheba shall offer gifts. Yeah, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. He shall deliver the needy when, the, when he crieth the poor also, and he that have no helper. And just like King Solomon was judging them righteous judgments, we're going to be judging them righteous judgments. Mm -hmm. Go to 15. He says, he shall live and to him shall be given of the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon. You know, I actually I believe this song, I, I believe this is actually a song about King Solomon, isn't oh, yeah. it? Did King David write it about King Solomon, yes. his son? A song for Solomon. I remember I did a study on this years ago. I was like, it's now it's coming back to me. You know what I mean? Because I believe it was a song for a son, wasn't it? That's why we kept giving. Oh, yeah, that is talking about Solomon. Oh, yeah, because it says, yeah. In, in that righteous unto the king's son. Yeah, the king's son. Yeah, yeah so that's what I was talking about. That's a good lesson to be learned from King Solomon. Hey, Solomon, you have shy Solomon. Yeah, yeah there it, it is. Reincarnation. Yep. You know it says, uh, there shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the uh, mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebion. And day of the city shall flourish like the grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun and men shall be blessing him. All nations shall call him blessed. What is it? His, nation, his name shall endure as long as the sun. That means forever. Mm -hmm. like, so you're telling me when the sun turns into a supernova and it explodes? or You know what I'm saying? True. <laughs> True. Uh, I could already hear some guy out there. Actually, <laughs> bro, we in the kingdom, bro. Y'all get, getting it. You know, with the logo, actually, before we even get to the kingdom, they getting it, you know? The, the, the transition process, when the Lord is going to come back, he's going to give us power. And then we're going to run wild through the streets, okay? And the angels going to be running wild through the streets, you know, with the judgment. That's going to be beautiful, man. That's going to be beautiful. Hey, let's get it, man. Jeremiah 16. We ain't got that scripture in a minute. That's when you got it, because we're getting closer and closer to this time right here. We're getting closer and closer to this time, because we're out here fishing. You know, the Lord made us fishers of men. Soon he's going to make us hunters of men. We're going to be hunting, hunting season. Uh, Jeremiah 16, 16, behold, I was sent for many fishers. And we out here fishing right now. We fishing for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We're not fishing for heathens. Go ahead. Uh, saith Yahweh, and they shall fish them, and after what I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. We're gonna be
we hunting. The Lord, how are we gonna do? How are we gonna hunt him out the holes in the rocks? The Lord, he gonna give us power. Hey, even like Esau, you know Esau, they got these deep underground bunkers. What do they call them? The uh, Doomsday bunker. I think. Yeah, them. Do well, they got a name for it. The deep underground military, deep underground military bunker domes. Yeah, they're called domes. That's pretty. Yeah, they said they got tunnels that go from Washington D.C. all the way to California. You know, they got whole cities underneath the ground and everything. They're going to try to hide. You know, when the Lord, oh, he's going to try to hide. He's a coward. He's going to cower in his home site. But we going, the Lord, he's going to give us power. we we'll be able to see right through the rocks, like your boy Kel L. We're going, we're going to come and get you. Revelation. So we out here fishing right right now though, you know, we peaceful. Y'all gonna know when it was hunting time. You know, because the Lord, He gonna give us actual power. We're gonna be changed. We're not gonna be we're not gonna be normal humans no more. We're gonna have them X-Men mutant like powers. Oh, you don't know about that one, dude. That's a that's an inside joke. We're gonna have X-Men mutant like powers. Hey, we already got power now. We got power, you know. We just out, us out here speaking as power, you know. These people, they be getting shook when they hear the word. When people get shook by the word of the Lord, that's power right there. The, the word to cut people up to pieces. That's power. Oh, go ahead. This is uh, Revelation 6 and 9. It says, and when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under, wait, no, it's like not nine. It's uh, verse 15. It's, well, 14 says, And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. You know, it's like nukes. And, uh, and that's the thing. That's, that's the spirit of that. They're rolling like that because that's what they're going to hide under them bunkers because the nukes and also hide from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But they're going to think that after the nukes is going to be done, and they're going to think they're going to destroy the Lord and they're going to come out and just, hell no. Nah, they might try to hide out in their little space station. But that gets space station gets zapped too quick. That was that they already out there. Hey, that's why do you think Donald Trump created Space Force? You know why Trump created Space Force? They're gonna try to fight against the Lord and the angels. That's why the Pentagon came out and said it's it's proof. They got a craft that is not of this earth flying around. Okay? That's a fact. That's what the Pentagon said. They be like, oh, you're making shit up. It says It says uh well, that's cool. They went to the Lord's chariots, boy. Yeah, they remember that day when uh, Trump had to be. They was they had that little meeting with the. Uh, I think it was the military about the UFOs or some shit. Yeah, it was something I do like remember that. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if, it, if this shit was false, like, I, if, if this shit was like like mermaid type shit, if I was mermaid, I'd be like, I think come on, I don't waste my time with that shit. So obviously that shit real, cause then they wouldn't have had a meeting like that. They taking it as a threat. Because, you know, a lot of times in so-called UFOs, they're, they're always harassing, uh, <laughs> they're always harassing, they be fucking with the pilots, the fighter pilots and stuff, they be messing with them, messing with their, uh, what is it, little instruments and stuff, making them go all wild and crazy. It says, and, uh, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place, and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bound man and every free man hid themselves in the dens ooh, and the rocks. They hid, ooh, they hid themselves in the dens and the rocks. That's so they're going to try to hide. They Y'all can't hide. They ain't going to be able to hide from the Lord. They, they coming to get you, man. You're going to get hauled right off into slavery for a thousand years until you all exterminated, pursuing the Obadiah 18th verse. They're going to hold off into slavery. Now you just picture them just dragging them by the legs, you know, putting them in chains. Oh, it's like uh, Psalms 140, 140, what's that, 149? We're going to put in nobles and fetters and chains of irons. And that's where they're going, straight into slavery. They're going to be showed no mercy unto them. It says, In the dens of the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on, on us, and hide us from the face of him that sit upon the throne, and from the wrath of the land. For the great day of his wrath is coming, who shall be able to stand? Now, who's going to be able to stand before the wrath of the Lord? Are they going crazy over here? They did. They look, they're doing the same shit yesterday, last week or something, whatever that was. What the fuck they be doing over there? Well, that's 
Coach, uh, you should go up in there one day. It'd be fun. I bet it's closed, though, because of fucking Corona. So everything's closed. Dumb ass. I mean, that's beautiful. I'd be getting mad because you know you can't. You want, don't you go, if you want to go to the movies, you got to wear a mask? Like, who wants to go if you got to wear a mask? Shit, me in the movie theater, it's dark. I'm taking that picture. Oh, yeah, you're going to take it up. But still, it's the, hey. it's the principal. Aaron, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good. Good to see you. Uh, he works in it. He's a... Oh, no, he doesn't work. He's a cool guy. Oh. Uh, what was we saying? That guy got me messed up now. He's like, I'm going to tell everybody I've seen him out there. <laughs> You're finished, bub. <laughs> and I was talking about masks. Oh, shit. Hey, that's, that's the spirit. Yeah, who wants to go to movie theater wearing a mask, though? You know, that's some nonsense. That's ridiculous. It's like, I've seen people, they was playing volleyball with masks. I've seen, they didn't make you wear a mask at the gym. If you want to go to the restaurant, you got to wear a mask. But when you sit down, I guess you can take it off. It's fucking stupid. That shit is just dumb. It just don't make no damn sense. Like, the little gym I go to, the little, little boxing shit. When you go in to go to the counter, you got to get scanned. You got to wear a mask. But then when you go to the mask, you can take them off. What's the point of me Then you're always touching it. Yeah, yeah, we fighting each other, just sweating. What are you doing? Like, dude, there's no point of that shit. You be getting stupid. dizzy, too, after you wear the mask for a couple hours. You start getting all dizzy, lightheaded. Yeah, that's I don't keep that shit on my That's why every, you go to the store, ain't nobody really wearing it. The people that do, they got them halfway on, just all the way just hanging. That's why I got them halfway Everybody <laughs> does the halfway, just so nobody said nothing to them. <laughs> well, I got it on, though. Yeah. That shit, buddy. So we went to the Walmart, and we were, everyone, nobody wearing masks over there. They done gave up. They like, get tired. <laughs> he get tired of it. Boy, Biden, he, might, he might force niggas to Oh, yeah, Biden going to lock it down, bro. No, he didn't wear that mask, nigga. If Biden get in there, bro, he locking everything down. Yeah. He shutting this whole thing down. Them damn Democrats are something else. Them motherfuckers, they serious about that shit. I can't wait. To, I can't wait for the total lockdown. Where's your mask? Yeah, if it's on the total, if when your boy Biden, ain't going to be none of this. People walking around on a sunny day. You going to have that shit locked down. That's gonna be fucking. Ooh, that's gonna be. That's gonna be crazy. Are we gonna see what happens though? What's that? Or, or a second, or we could be martial law and or war or whatever. Then Trump stand. Who knows what the fuck gonna happen? You know, anything happen? What they got like a month? Got a month left? Or What's that? Or uh, yeah, they got like a fucking month to change. So anything happen between? So Trump could stay in that month. Like, you can. Knows? You know, either way. Through. They're through. It's through either way. If Satan divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? They through. They divided. I wish we get back to that song. Oh. Just because I, I was reading it, this has got some fire in it. Where did, where did I finish? I'm going to start at 66 and 9. Which holdeth our soul and life and suffereth not our feet to be moved. Our feet ain't gonna be moved out here. We're gonna stay firm. Stand. <laughs> we standing firmly. Hey, what's that? The Lord commanded them to stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And first, what's that? Second Ezra's the second chapter. Uh, actually, let me skip down to 11. Actually, I already read that. I'm gonna start at 66 and 12. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire and through water, but thou brought us out into a wealthy place. Yeah, we already read that too. I will go into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. Hey, we in trouble out here right now. We've been in trouble. Oh, at the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, they out here, they're going to try to implement the market of beasts. They're going to start microchipping everybody. So that's why we out here, we praying. We praying the Lord, here's our, here's our words. Thank you, girls. Thank you, thank you. That's respectful. I see. A nice one, yeah. That's a nice one, yeah. And the Lord bless them. Yeah, she, she was like, she be quiet. They bl read. Holy moly, like, yeah. Hey, man, because a lot of these heathens, you look at them, they like, this is some Israelites right there. You can just tell. There's no way, bro. I just seen they had that different, lively spirit. They didn't look like the average heathen, you know, Saudi and Arabian or whatever. So that's beautiful when you see be seeing Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Except for when they be evil, you just want to... Oh, your, yeah, because your girl, she was uh, she had her head covered. See, that's rare, too, because I just want to like, 
but like, cause normally people that walk past, they don't give a fuck about the word. But she was like, you know, telling them to be yeah. quiet so they can. Just like the scripture says, yeah, whoever bless us, they give blessed. Hey, hear ye, hear ye. Yeah, hear ye, hear she, ye. She's trying to hear. She's trying to hear. She respected us. They, because they know what we doing out here. They know we out here for the Most High. You right, know. Right, right, right. What else we gonna do out here? here what, what else you gonna be doing out here? About our father's business. Yes, sir. We about the father's business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how? Yeah, what? How come y'all's not about the father's business when a woman's not supposed to teach? But the men, how come they not about that business? You know, because they not men. That's really what defines a man from a little boy. You know, is a real man's gonna do the work of the Lord. He's gonna be about. He's gonna be about the Lord's business. Okay, that's what a real man does. That's what defines a man. Not how much money you got, or you know, how popular you are, how nice a dress, or what's some other shit. How much, you know? Bitches you got. Yeah. The only thing that makes you a man is if you do the work of the Lord or not. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, where was we at? Uh, Psalm 66 and 16. Come in here, all you that fear the most high. Huh. Hey, come in. <laughs> you can yell that out. Ain't nobody gonna come. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come in here. Oh, I, I skipped it. Yeah, that is it. Come in here, all you that fear the most high, and I will declare what he hath done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was exalted with my tongue. Hey, that's what we doing. We out here exalting the Lord. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Oh, you hear that? So if we regard iniquity, which means sin, that means if we accept sin and wickedness, if the Lord ain't going to hear our prayers. That would be an abomination. That would be an abomination. If I, uh, But verily the Most High has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be the Most High, which have not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. And that's the end of the psalm. Psalm 66. Though so he ain't turned his mercy away from us. Hey, you can tell he ain't turning away his mercy. That's why we out here teaching. Because that's what, you know, we out here to wake up Israel. <laughs> What's this? Oh, this your boys. Trash. You see all the nationalities out here. That's how you know this is Babylon. You know, then we just see some Saudi Arabians, then you see some Elamites, then you got Edomites, then you got Hamites out here. That's how you know this is Babylon. It's just like in the Tower of Babel, when all the nations came together to build that tower. America's the same thing. You got all nations coming together. And that's how you know that America is Babylon the Great that's spoken of in the book of Revelation. Because you're going to have a bunch of other clowns out here. They teaching, oh, Babylon the Great in Revelation is the, the Catholic Church. You hear that a lot. You hear those Israelites teaching that. Nah, Babylon the Great is America. Okay. America. <laughs> it's America. You know, USA, USA. That's Black Babylon the Great. Uh, go ahead. That's that one, the last point. That was nice, though. We said, uh, you, you still got it? Yeah. You, you read the last one, the last verse? Blessed be the Most High, which have not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. He said, Lord's still with us, and especially in the time of Jacob's trouble, when all that shit go down, the Lord's still going to be merciful to us. I want to read this real quick. Um, I mean, that's why he still got the elders there teaching you, guiding you, showing you the way. Maybe if you're not sure about, you know, what's going on, they could show you, you know, what's going on. You know, so the Lord here guiding us. Psalms 124 says, uh, one, if it had not been Yahweh who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been Yahweh who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. When the wrath was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. And you read it too, it said, uh, we're going through fire and water. The Lord brought us to a wealthy land, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. It says, uh, and I, I, just like, oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Uh, I had a dream too about, it was just weird. I, I don't know, it was, it was a lot of symbolism in it. It was just like, I was like in like like some type of river or whatever. And it's like, I was like kind of lower, like, like the ground was kind of like up there, whatever. It's hard to explain. But anyways, the fucking water was like rising and shit. And I'm like, 
together and getting about to drown and shit. I'm calling upon your help, but man, I shot. I finally got delivered out of there. You know what I'm saying? And I remind me that uh, Psalms, it was like 69 or something like that. He said, don't let the, don't let the, uh, the flood over, overtake me, something like that. Yeah. And what was, who's the flood? Uh, your boy said, you're going to come in like a flood. Esau and his Esau. And shit. You know what I'm saying? They're going to come in a flood, boy. Say, so if your boy Joe Biden really gets in there. Whoo, man. And people, there's going to be microchip central. They're going to be chipping everybody. They're going to lock this whole country down for coronavirus. They're going to lock it down. I've already seen all the articles, and he already that's all he keeps talking about is coronavirus. They want to lock this shit down. He said, you real woo on this. Remember that? Oh, yep. Yeah. Joe Biden, he was the one that said it. Yeah. yeah okay. He crazy. said, we will rule on this. But even even if Biden don't come, oh, you know, find, officially come in, whatever. Even Trump said it. He said we gonna we gonna perfect this RFID technology, whatever the fuck he said. So either way, however he saw one of whoever want, he wants inside. I mean, the financial system is going cashless anyway, yeah. and they got they can do whatever the hell they want. They're not part controlled by the government. You know, the Federal Reserve they print the money, not the government. You know, that's a, really a private institution. It's like all these banks are private institutions. They can do whatever the hell they want with their money. And they're the ones controlling shit, the bankers. Whoever got the money, they're, hey, like the Rothschild said, he said, I care not who makes the laws of a nation. He said, if I have power over that nation's money, I control that nation. That's who's running shit. Who got the most money? Whoever controls the money prints the money. That's who's running shit. Make sure they're tired. <laughs> it says... That bike sounded like it was about to snap. <laughs> hey, that looks dangerous. Those are bad, dude. Uh, yeah. It says, uh, then the proud waters have gone over our soul. Blessed be Yahweh who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Yeah, so ultimately, you know, the men of the Lord, we're going to escape this devil. You know, two thirds of our people, you know, they gonna they gonna get chipped. They gonna take the chip, okay? And the Lord, they gonna be destroyed. So we gonna be delivered. The Lord, gonna, he gonna find a way for us to eat. Cause soon you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell nothing without that chip. You ain't gonna be able to go to Kroger. You know, you ain't gonna be able to go to Walmart or nowhere. You are gonna have to have that chip, okay? Oh, you got more to that? Yeah, it says. Uh, our hope is in the name of Yahweh who have made heaven and earth. That's our hope. We pray to the Lord. What other hope you got? What you going to Donald Trump going to come through and save you? Uh, he going he gonna to come out there like, dun, dun, dun. Yeah. He ain't saving you. He can't even save his damn self. You know? Who going to save you? It's the Lord only one going to save you. That's the only hope you got. That is the only hope. What does the scripture say? We prisoners of hope. We prisoners of hope. It is, this shit out here is hopeless. It's still hopeless. Look at these people, they look hopeless. They look through. You look at these people, they just look through. They just look, do you just stick a fork in them, they done. They just all looking through and they all looking done. They just blind, ain't got a loss. Totally in darkness. Just totally gone, totally through. Look at these fools, man. They just look, what are we surrounded by? They ain't got a clue about what's going on out here. This uh, Psalms 39 and 7. My fault, I'm going to start at 6 because that's what you're just saying. These people look through. <laughs> I'll try to just look at you. Like, when you look around and you just really try to do a deep examination, yeah. Yeah. you're trying to feel the spirit where that spirit is telling you. Look into their souls. Yeah, I'm looking into their souls, into their spirits. Yeah. You can't see shit. I'm trying to analyze the spirits. Drop a pity, you can have my fucking echo. Yeah. Hey. These people, it's, it's like, man, it's just crazy, man. Like, people are really empty, like, there's nothing, there's nothing there. Like, what they, what's the point of them living? Like, empty vessels. They just eat shit and repeat, like. Worthless, fuck. worthless eaters is what, what they're that? called. Worthless eaters. It was, it was a wise quote by one of them, uh, I think it was one of them ancient niggas, whatever. He said, <laughs> my bad. He was smiling, though. Bro, what was he said? He said, he said, uh, worthless paraphrasing, like, worthless people, they, they, uh, they live to eat. But we uh we eat to live, something like that. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they just they that's all they, that's all their purpose is to fucking consume and eat and shit and consume party. 
They are, they, they take it, don't give. They just consume. Yeah. We just consume so we can build our bodies up so we can do the work. And they're like a, work, you know? they're like a, they're a cancer. They're a cancer. You know, they contribute none to the earth. Just like, just like a motherfucking. Person. They don't have respect for the Lord's creation. Yeah. yeah. You know. Like That's what it is. I'm sorry. Oh, it's like, I, you, you got to be getting mad. Oh, it's like, like, go ahead, shit, go ahead. Go, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. You got to go, go. I'm about to say, just like, a, just like if you had like a son that's like grown as hell, this nigga don't got no job, and this nigga is eating all the food, and he's just, he's just worthless. Like, what, the fuck is, what the fuck is your point here? You ain't, you taking, you, you eating, you, you doing all this, you using up the fucking light bill, you using up the water bill, but you ain't doing nothing. You ain't, exactly. you ain't putting in this, man. That's you what they're doing as a whole towards you. Humanity, it's like as a whole. <laughs> I hate that word, humanity. But you know what I mean? The average people, they don't contribute. Yeah. It says, uh, hey, they take away. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not contribute. What's the opposite of the word contribute? D What's that? D? D? D <laughs> contribute. They're thieves. Oh, that's a, that's too harsh. Not, that's not. There's a better word than that. They don't contribute. They. Consume. That has to be a consume. Yeah. I'll go ahead. This is uh, Psalms 39 and uh, 6. Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Oh, everybody walking in a vain show. These people are vain as hell, bro. They think they fly with their shit. Y'all ain't fly with your shit. These people's trash. Dude, especially the woman. Is, oh, oh, God. These women are out of control. True. They out of control. That's why the Lord, what are you talking about? The reset button? The Lord hitting that reset button like, cow! And instantly, there's gonna be no more this vain woman, proud woman, independent woman. Hey, I remember this this, this one bitch in my job. She, what do you call it? It's like two main job things. It's like picking and replant. I'm in replant, and we pick up the heavy box or whatever. She, did. she used to be a picker, you know what I'm saying? This bitch came from picking to our department, and now she's working with us. And these two young niggas, they don't do no work. Like, this nigga, he do cart, and you disappear. Other niggas, he don't do <laughs> shit. But as soon as this bitch comes, all these niggas flocked around her. Like, it was oh like, my goodness. one girl said, hey, so y'all like, like sharks like sharks to the uh, prey yeah. or some shit. Yeah. It's like, and, it, and it's just like, all these niggas is hovering over. You got bit, niggas talking to this bitch. But these, bitch, these bitches on pain, bro. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But that's how they, they, how they people, they, they put them bitches on a pedestal. But really, they ain't shit. But that day going, that shit going in. That, that's how it's going to be for the men of the Lord. Y'all going to be looking for us. Y'all going to be trying to hover around us. Oh, wait. Hey, what's the word? Hey, hey, you know, but. Hey, let's get it. Let's get the scripture. You know what? You know uh, Now, Isaiah scripture. Oh, wait, what? What you talking about? Uh, uh, what you talking about? Oh, what you about to get? The seven, I was talking about a woman. They're going to buy oh. seven women. Oh, okay. okay. I, I we ain't got that one in a minute. We gotta get mad. Yeah, we gotta get back on these old classic scriptures. Uh, it says Isaiah four and one. In that day, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Yeah, that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Seven women. Seven. That means seven. That's that's par parabolic. What's that? Symbolic. There's a whole bunch of women. So we're gonna have all kind of women, man. You know, now they talk to Christians like, oh, you can only have one wife. You can't be. But here, you know, they're accepting gay marriage and everything. So, you know, if it's if it's okay you to have married a dude, like a man can marry a man, how come I, I can't have ten wives? What's the big deal? Yeah. What's the big deal? <laughs> you know? Yeah. But in the kingdom, we're going to have ten wives. We're going to have more than that. As many, much as our heart desires, we can handle. And we're going to have, hey, we're going to be able to handle a whole lot. You know, we're going to be full, full of vigor. What's that? We're going to be, boy... We're going to be baby making. There's going to be so much death. The Lord bringing so much death to the earth that we're going to have to repopulate the earth. And how do you repopulate the earth? How you do it through having sex. Having sex with a whole lot of women. And that's how we... And all these fools out here, two-thirds of our people, they all going to die. Like all these simple... This is these bird brain hoes out here. You see all these two-thirds, these little gremlins out here. They gonna get put to death. They gonna get destroyed by the nukes, by the missiles. But they gonna come back in the kingdom in the reincarnation through us. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I just watched a video. of The brothers in Atlanta. They made a good point. It's like we, the Lord ain't gonna just make us. Well, we are on it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, not just like 
you know what I'm saying? Not yeah. just, you just aimlessly horny. You just, oh, I need everything. Yeah. All the bitches come. All like, right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's going to be the spirit. Like, some bitches is going to be destined to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, gonna, and she might be bad. You might be like, bitch, get the fuck out. Get away from me, yep. bitch. Yo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? And then some women, you know, you can be like, okay, you can come in, whatever the case is, whatever. But you know what I'm saying? But some of you, a lot of you bitches are going to be denied. You straight up, you're done. You're fucking done. You know what I'm saying? Well, so a lot of y'all women, you know, before the destruction comes, a lot of y'all women are going to be bound down to us looking for protection. And you're going to do whatever we say, just as long as you get protected. And you get food to eat. Because you're going to need a man to feed you. When that shit, shit hits the fan, ain't no food. You know, there's a famine. You know, depression, all that. The woman, they gonna need a man to feed them, take care of them. You know what I mean? I, I, I told you about that that, uh, that show, uh, the To the Rivers, whatever the fuck it is on Netflix. Uh, I need to watch. What's it called? To the River? Something like that. But uh, yeah, To the River. And then the bitch in the movie, whatever show, whatever. In the beginning, before the virus went crazy, the bitch she was like she was dissing the, the baby daddy, whatever. Like, oh, like, pretty much saying like fuck you nigga go oh, to your other man, family yeah and then when because he's like outside of the city so when he like smuggled himself inside the city to get him, him and his, his wife and his son now she's when he opened as soon as he opened the door this bitch all hugging and kissing oh my god damn you know what I'm saying but before he was like fuck you and go to your other family but now you now you treating this nigga like he's your savior and that's how it's gonna be it says cause it says right here for we uh saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by that name to take away our reproach. And be called by that name. They're gonna be. They're gonna take our name. And that's why when you get married, they woman. When you get married, the the woman takes the man's last name. You notice that? That's because the man's over the woman. Man, that's weird. Up here. <laughs> man's this. It ain't never been this jumping, has it? It's like jumping out here. It's like what is going on? We're gonna come down. Come on down. It's like Price is Right. Come on down. Get, get you, get you. Get you to come. Y'all want? Y'all want a piece of this action? Y'all, who, who wants some of this? What? I was ain't looking at it. It's like y'all want some of this action? Y'all want some of the smoke? Who wants some of that smoke? Who y'all? Who wants some of that heat? We got that heat. We got that fire. Y'all can't handle that fire. It's too much. You know what I'm saying? You don't want none of it. And they just look at him like, y'all want something or something? How was y'all? How y'all doing? And it's just crazy how they just be looking. They be even staring. It's like, I don't know what else to say. It's like, y'all want some of this? It's like, you don't want no parts of this. <laughs> I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna do a word search on the. I was just thinking about that. I'm gonna look up the word harken. Harken. Two little, two little dikes right there. That, that bitch won't be able to take that. Take that bitch. Oh hell no. <laughs> we be having too much fun. Hold up. Are we supposed to have this much fun doing the work? Uh, let me see. I was gonna. I, I did a word search on the word "harken." Oh, look at this! this is a good one. Look, "harken unto me." This is Ecclesiastes 39 and uh, 13. "Harken unto me, ye holy children, and bud forth as a rose, growing by the brook of the field." Say so that's what you, they supposed to listen to us. I mean, that's funny because I was just like, I was talking shit to the people, but but y'all supposed to listen to us. You supposed to come over here, you know. You're supposed to listen. You're supposed to hearken. You're supposed to hearken unto the Lord, because if you get these words, you're gonna bud forth like a rose grown by the brook of the field. And a rose is a beautiful flower. What's that? What's that one like that? Uh, the Tupac said, "The rose that grew up out of the concrete." You know, that's what, that's us, right? That's us right there. We that rose that grew up out of the concrete. We thought it was impossible. We still came came up out of there, all beautiful. You know, from nothing. They're like two fox. We came from nothing. I can't, you know. So that's what the Lord coming for, to make it to earth. 
Tupac, Tupac the most high, but Tupac the death though. So, he got it. He was, he was wicked. Through. He gone. Oh man. There's so many good ones. I just did that word search on Harkin. Ecclesiastic is 16 and 24. My, my son, hearken unto me and learn knowledge and mark my words with thy heart. You're supposed to mark these words with your heart. Take them into your heart. I know there's a better one. Go, if you got something, go ahead. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 11, 2. It says, hear ye the words of this covenant. Oh, you're supposed to hear ye the words of this covenant. Y'all supposed y'all Israelites. What are them some, uh, I don't know where they from. They some of them Latin tribes looking head asses. <laughs> they just supposed to listen to the words of this covenant. Okay, because the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel. A holy covenant. An everlasting covenant. And that covenant is still in effect. Go ahead. It says, speak ye unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. I see, to Israel. Is there more to it? Uh, I'm going to skip down to six. It says, Then Yahweh said unto me, Proclaim all ye these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and say, do them. Say, you supposed to hear the words of this covenant and do them. you supposed to hear the words and do them. Oh, how you doing? Yeah, all right. hey, yeah. sir. Are you reading the Bible? Yeah, of course. Yes. It sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. It's not Greek to me. It sounds like God's word. Yeah, yeah, Jeremiah, read Jeremiah. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, you're good. Thank you. Shalom. Hey, I wasn't going to yeah. just let him give it a little piece. You know? yeah. I, ain't, I ain't trying to stop really talking to them guys. Yeah. You seem like weirdos. Yeah. Well, that was in that one. Oh, they bless us, though. So they say peace to us, we say peace to them. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's how you got to do it. Even if they might be Edomites or whatever, you got to be peaceful among all men of possible. If someone come up and they're being cool with you, that don't mean you'd be an asshole back to them. You know? Unless they come up with trickery. If they come up with some trickery, but we get we got something for you. <laughs> the Lord got something for you. And a lot of people they come up with trickery. They try to pretend like they're, they're nice and kind. Oh go ahead. Oh that was it. Oh yeah, it's a spirit, huh? Yeah. Hey, you know some people probably get probably get mad by that, you know? Goddamn Muslims taking over America. You know, they get mad. But really, that's beautiful, though, ain't it? Yeah, I know that name somewhere. Do I? You got the woman covering up their heads. That's how they're supposed to do it. The woman ain't supposed to walk around with her head uncovered. They think they look at that. You know how to you know back even in early America? You know, in early America, the woman covered their head, right? Mm -hmm. They had this thing called a wimple. <laughs> look at it. It's a wimple. I'm going to look it up, bro. The wimple. The women, hey, get that scripture to cover the head. That's the spirit. Because you got a bunch of Muslim women walking around here with their heads covered. I'm sure a lot of these ignorant, you know, Americans are like, oh, get these Muslims out of my country. They're wearing them funny clothes. <laughs> That's really how our women used to dress, okay? But our women turned into prostitutes and whores. Uh, what was that? Oh, a wimple. I'm going to look up a wimple. We're gonna have to educate. We're gonna have to give y'all some education. I oh, see this is the wimple. I did a Google image search on a wimple. See? Oh, that's a. I don't know if that's even showing up. You see that? I don't know if that's even showing up. That's a wimple. You see them? See that was and that was all white people right there wearing wimples. That's straight no one. What's that? Oh yeah, these ones? That's not too dissimilar at all. Oh yeah. That's called a wimple. So that was always our people's customs for they had the women to have to, have, uh, uh, to cover their head. That was always our custom. So that's a new custom of America where a woman just walk around with her head uncovered, you know, wearing some tight clothes or wearing a short skirt, you know, uh, showing her breasts and everything. That's not the custom of our people. Yeah, dresses and stuff like that. Yeah. Why our woman had dresses and stuff? Cause you know, I'm talking about the skirts. They weren't the uh, the easy access skirts. Yeah. I'm talking like the women oh, yeah, should yeah. be wearing. The, oh yeah, yeah. To the to the to the to the, to the ankle. Yeah, because most of these women they were look at they wearing them tight black pants. You can see everything. Short, like, yeah, like that. Like, you can see the you can camel see toe. Like, 
you see what he be seeing that night. Yeah. That's, 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 his, that's his woman. I'm over here, yeah, you can look at his woman. I can see his woman's camel toe. That's not acceptable. That's intolerable. They have that shit for little kids, too. Yeah, yeah the little girls wear it. Yeah, little booty shorts, too, and everything like that. They got little, little paws on the butt cheeks. Yeah, that's the My bad. Yeah, that is the spirit. We keep, we keep saying stuff and it keeps appearing. But you can't see what we're seeing, though. But that's probably a good thing. That'd be a distraction. Yeah, all them little bitches. Yep. Right. They, they, yeah. Yeah, there's a crowd of them about probably little teenage girls. And they all dress like prostitutes. Oh, let me get that scripture. It's the one with uh, head cover. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. It's uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and uh, 6, well, 5 says, But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered dishonored for her own or her head, for that is even of one as she was, uh, uh, as, damn, wow. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. See? Yeah, so the woman's supposed to have her head covered. That's supposed to walk around your head uncovered. Especially out in public. Now, if you're at home, that's another story. You know, but you're walking out in public, you gotta cover your head up. You cover everything else up too. It's uh oh I know what I was looking for. They might get deleted for this one. Any of the certain scriptures you can't they delete the whole channel for it. Let me get this one. Let me get this Amos. This Amos is fire. This is Amos 7 and 17. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity before thou his land. But that's a prophecy right there. The Lord said our women was going to turn into harlots. What did he say? He said that wife shall be a harlot in the city. And look at him, bro. Hey, it's through out here. So that's good, though, when you see, the, like, a, even though they're Muslims or whatever, actually, we don't know what they are. Can't be so quick to judge, right? Why would they have some Arabic Christians? <laughs> you never know, though, for real. You never know. But, you know, you could commend them for walking around, you know, and they covered up. And they're not walking around looking like a whore. We commend that. We commend thee. <laughs> so that way they can't say we talk bad about all the women. We can talk good about these women over here. See? It's Isaiah oh, yeah, because this girl, this lady got mad at us on the comment board for the last video we made in the car. And she's at, she got mad. I'm sorry. What's your name? I think Barry or something. And she said, she got mad. She's like, would you call me a bitch or a hoe or something? She got mad because we was calling women bitches and hoes. You know, this is how we talk. But a lot of these women are bitches and hoes, though. I mean, can you say they're not? I mean, are we lying? We didn't say every last one was a bitch and a hoe. We just commended these Muslim women for being covered up and then applauded them. You know? Even though they're... Like I said, we don't even know what they actually are. We didn't talk to them. We don't know them. So we don't always speak bad of all women. See, that's not true. It's Isaiah 3 and 16, moreover, the how it said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanting eyes. See, they walk forth with oh, they just going through the wimples and all that, ain't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these women, they say they walk with them stretched necks and them wanton eyes. They looking, they looking for that. D in that, they, that cash. Man, this is another bitch for my job. This bitch, first I didn't know she had a man. I wasn't really. Oh, there you go. You call women bitches. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going off. Uh-oh. -uh. Going off. But look, this, 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 I don't know what else to call it. This, That's why I'm confused. Like, what are you supposed to call it? This thing, whatever it is. I'm just going to say thing. That old thing. That little thing. <laughs> that thing thing over there. This motherfucker, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, you worse now. Yeah. Oh, Yo, you bought damn, bro. You trying to run the little children over. <laughs> oh, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what about a second? Uh, the dude almost killed that little kid. <laughs> little Edomite almost ran the little baby over. <laughs> I'll beat dude's ass if that was my kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Damn, what about I say? Shit. I forgot. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she. Uh, I would talk to her and shit. Yeah, I, I could tell she's young. She like real young. She ghetto. I'm. That's like I'm dumb with young bitches. These people are annoying as fuck. Like you know, we're young. Like 18 year old. They's fucking annoying. But I was yeah, just, talking to her and she was like, okay, yeah, she, all right, she, all right. You know what I'm saying? But, but then, you know, find out she, you know she got a boyfriend and shit, and then whatever, and then. This bitch is still looking at me, still trying to talk and shit. Like, you know how you bitch be, like, yeah, staring yeah, yeah. at you, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, and he, she even did it one time while her, when she was walking with her man. That's the one time eyes. Uh, it's like, I'm just looking like, what the fuck? What is you doing? Hey, like, she, they probably attack and want to do a tag team with you. Shit. That's how they get down right here. They're really yeah. open like that. they like, oh, I'm in an open relationship. That's or I've seen women, a lot of women, it's probably, they say they're polyandrous now. Oh, God. Polyandrous. Andros means it's Greek for man. You know, like poly, uh, a polygamous means many women. Yeah. Poly means many, gami means woman. So uh, polyandrous means many men. <laughs> I think all these women are polyandrous. <laughs> Whether they even know what that word means or not. Some of them just uh, knew a couple of definitions of some words. Now they, But actually, you're all polyandrous. <laughs> Oh, Polly Andrews. <laughs> Smart. He says, and uh, walking and mentioning as they go and making the tinkling with their feet. They make that tinkling with, they think they're so cute with their little TikToks and their little Facebooks and their little, you know, all that. I hate TikToks. You think you're so cute. That shit is fucking stupid. It's cancer. I still ain't used TikTok. I was about to make an account. I couldn't bring myself to it. I, I mean, that is rubbish. I'm with, ugh. Makes me want to vomit. It says, Therefore the Lord will smite with a sky the uh, crown of the head of the daughter's design. Oh, the daughter's design. That's why these women can't grow hair. That's why you go to the corner store. I was at the corner store yesterday. You know, you wait in the line. And I was just looking at up at the wall. He got weaves up at the corner store, bro. You actually got women out here buying their weave and getting their hair from the corner store. You know? <laughs> Well, let me get a uh, pack of new portions and let me give it two of them weaves. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? What the? They really getting their weaves at the corner store out here. They can't grow hair. And you can see it, man. They're having fades. <laughs> oh, nappy. What is some. <laughs> oh, we can't say that on YouTube. We'll get deleted. They're going to do me like your boy Don Imus. You know, you have to be for your day. And Don Imus, he called, do you remember him? He was a professional, uh, he was calling a guy, no, he's a news guy though. He has a radio show, but he called a basketball team of girls, he called them a bunch of nappy headed hoes. And then he, it was, he, was, he was done after that. He was finished. I think he was said it by the NBA or WNBA or something, I can't remember. Oh no, some college girls. The college national championship. <laughs> they called them nappy headed hoes. <laughs> he is finished. Hey, that's in the, that's the uh, Isaiah, was that Isaiah 3, right? That's the Isaiah 3 scripture. Said he can't grow hair. Pretty much saying they're going to be nappy headed. Can't grow no hair. Got to wear a weave, you know? That's one, but well, these women too, their weaves are uncontrollable. They're out of control too, man. You see the crazy weaves they be having? You know, you know that's not real. I seen a bitch with some, this some different color. It was like some Ponzo shit, like the long ass Ponzo. Yes. The worst was I was playing with this girl's hair. You know how you play with a girl's hair? And I was playing with her hair. It's like really, I was like, man, this don't even feel right. And I was playing with it, playing with it. It's like, this is, I could feel where it was connected. I was like, ah! It's not, it, uh, you pay, I was playing with a weave. You know, run, you know, run, <laughs> you run, you know, you run your fingers to the woman's hair. <laughs> run my hair to the weave. Fuck out of here. Oh, I read another, oh, I think it was too much. Go ahead, I'm sorry. It's too much. It says, I read this one time, I'm sorry. Yeah, this, the one girl came to my house, but so she's left weaves all up in the bed. Weaves all up in the house, left a trail of a weave trail. Shit. <laughs> 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 oh, go ahead. They got their shit natural. Uh, yeah. Their shit dripping. I'm probably Benjamin. So. <laughs> Benjamin be having hair, huh? It's like, 
Go ahead. It says, "We buy them ugly ass Levi women." <laughs> oh, yeah, they. I got more hair than them. Goddamn. Shit. What about? I ain't no one to talk to nobody, bro. Look. Oh, bro, I got that. Whoo! Look at that, boy. It says, uh, and uh, it says, and discover and how we discovered the secret parts. Oh, the secret. What's a woman's secret parts? We shouldn't have to explain that one. You know, your secret parts. The Lord right. is going to do something to them. Go ahead. No, I'm saying private parts. Yeah, yeah. the private parts. Yes. It says, and that day, the Lord would take away the bravery of their tickling ornaments about their feet and their claws and their round tires like the moon. Some round tires. It's talking about all the different clothes and the fashion items they're wearing. Mm -hmm. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers. The bonnets and, and the bracelets, the bonnets, all that. All that. You think you're so cute. You think you're so cute. You, you know, you're not. You're disgusting. All you're, that in the bag of chips. You're an abomination unto the, the unto the Lord. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit, that's that stands. I know they say that. Man, you get on, like, yeah, I know you see the stories, like, on Instagram or Facebook, how they just got the stories, and they just be on there posing, or they got lip syncing to a rap song or something. Yeah. They think they so cute. Hey, women are so vain, and then there'd be a thousand men commenting, "Oh, so beautiful, baby. Oh, you know, it's all you do." Every man, we got a thousand men fighting over one woman. Y'all bigging these women, you know, messing these women's head up. Social media done gave a mental illness to these women. It really did. It's messing their heads up. It's messing their heads up in a bad way. The woman shouldn't even be allowed on those internet. Period. <laughs> if your woman has a Facebook, she's gonna cheat on you. You know, she has Facebook, any of that. So there's people sliding up in her inbox all day long. So if you got a woman, you can't even let her get on Facebook and all them other sites. They can't be trusted. The woman's too easy to manipulate. What was we reading? Don't we have a scripture or something? Yes. Back to three says. Uh, verse 20 says, uh, the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and nose drawers, the changeable suits. And that's the, that's what women is into. Like, remember when the, the uh, fucking shit got cut down? I mean, cut down. Uh, locked down. They, they wasn't able to uh, do the nails and hair and shit. Oh, yeah, they could. They was looking all messed up, wasn't it? True. Yeah. And that's what it, it was up. So, and, that, and that's what the Lord says. This is this, this is the prophecy right here. He said he's going to take all that shit away. Oh, he did. He's going to take all oh, what he's going to do to lock it down. I mean, I seen some on social media. I seen some Judite women argue. They was happy because Joe Biden got in. They was like, now finally we can do a real lockdown. They was happy. They was happy Biden won so he could do a proper lockdown. Wow. Because y'all like really retarded. It's like, you're really actually. It's like, wow. It's like, wow. It's like. Wow. That's like Expert. Uh, it's your boy. <laughs> right. That's some serious Stockholm syndrome. Our, our people have got a severe case of Stockholm syndrome, man. They really begging and praying for their own own downfall. You know. What do you think gonna do when they lock this shit down again? What do you think is gonna happen? What, ain't gonna be no food in the stores again. Everybody gonna rush to the stores just like they did last time. Oh, they got to get, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be no food again. It could be worse this time. Yeah, that's going to be beautiful, though. That's the work of the Lord. You can give the Lord a round of applause for this one. Sir, yes, sir. These dumbass people. It says, uh, changeable suits of apparel. Yeah, you bitches going to be looking musty. Oh, they're going to be they're gonna look ugly. They're going to be like Cardi B without her makeup. <laughs> Uh, they you see, I don't know if I you see ain't see Cardi B without her makeup? I try to avoid that. Oh I man, I can't look at that bitch. I, baby, we can, let's get it. I'm gonna get the picture, bro. Let's she get it. She be looking fuck. through. She, she ugly with makeup. I don't like that bitch. She just looks. She has a cute voice though when she be talking. It's it funny. It, I mean, yeah, the, the volume, but like I don't yeah, know yeah. my picture with her. But I don't like. She's annoying to me. But she, oh, for sure. What did I say? Oh, Cardi B with no makeup. That's all these hoes, really. That's why I like a woman that don't even wear makeup. I'll give me the old natural. You ain't gonna be dressing up like a clown, painting a new face on yourself. 
I accept you for who you are. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta pretend. Yeah. We take we, you know, come as you are, as the Lord intended you to be, as the Lord created you. You know. Whitney Houston looking at us. Oh, shoot, that's my girl. Yeah. Yeah. In the distance. No, Whitney, what? Whitney Houston. Yeah, Whitney Houston. Ugh. That's, that's horrendous. <laughs> 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 through. Your girl looking through. I don't know if you can even see that. Your girl's done. <laughs> that bitch is smack. What the fuck? Dog face. A mutt. A filthy mange. He says, in the wimples, in the wimples. The wimples. Yeah, we went to the wimples earlier. Cause actually, like we said earlier, that proves because our woman was being fly with the. They still covered their heads back in them times. Now our women, they totally off, totally gone. They don't cover their heads or nothing, you know? Because the wimple is, that's a head cover. You know, people read it, they don't look nothing up. If we read that scripture, like when you read the scriptures, you, if you, if you've never heard of a wimple before, don't keep reading. Stop and look it up. You'll learn something. Go ahead. And the crisping pins. The, the crisping pins. We looked the crisping pins up too. That's just the little pins, you know, just little fashion things. The the glasses and the fine linen. So the glasses. Oh, you, you see the woman now with the glasses. They be coming with the sun with the shades now. They got them big ass glasses. Yeah, big dumb goofy ass glasses. Yeah, big goofies. They got the Gucci's, you know what I mean? They, take, they got the little bootleg Gucci's. You know these women, they wear the fake ass clothes. And how are all these women dressing like they're millionaires, but y'all work at McDonald's or something? You know what I mean? Y'all ain't not fooling me. You know, <laughs> a bunch of broke ass. Uh, I gotta watch what I say. But you see how they do it. Like everybody dresses like they're a million bucks. You notice that? Everybody dresses like they're worth a million bucks, but they're all broke. Literally broke. Well, you spend all your money on clothes so you can make people think you got money. You're living a lie. I'd rather dress like a bum, you know, and have money in my pocket. At least, you know, they said that Jeff Bezos was working at Amazon. For, they said for the longest time he was driving an old beat down car. He was beat up. He didn't care. He was more about the business. Than himself, he put his business before his personal needs. That's what we do. We put the business, the work of the Lord, before our personal needs. He says, uh, "In the hoods and the veils, uh, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink." <laughs> it said, "Instead of sweet, they're talking about these women." It said, instead of the sweet smell, there shall be stank. So what is that talking about? Hey, you can see it too, man. Y'all, I'm sure the, the people, the men watching this video, they can really, they know what we're talking about. You know what that's talking about. Read that again. Let's get that one again. This is a curse because our women, they've been polluted. They've all been raised up and been taught to believe it's okay to have sex with as many men as you want. No, that's not okay. That's how you're going to get that nasty smell. You got all the different sperms going in there, marinating in there, you know, just stirring up together. That, ugh, that's nasty. What kind of smell you going to get? That's not a pleasant smell. You having sex with all these different people, you, you're going to get an unpleasant smell. Get it all nasty, fish smell, clearing out a whole room. Go ahead. It says, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stank. Shall be stank. There's old stinking ass hoes. Yeah. Hey, look, there's a white woman with a wimple. Is she white or they foreign? foreign? What's up with all the wimples today, you know? Yeah. We got the women, see? And people get mad at the foreigners come over here. They got more sense than you people. You know, that's crazy, though. They hating on them. They got more sense than y'all. They got more sense than you. Go ahead. Huh? Like who? Houston? A girl? I don't know. No, Whitney Houston was skin. I don't know. I didn't really get a look at her. For real? Same hair, dog. That's 
I'm not even sure. He said, that is, uh, it's going to be something famous. Yeah. And instead of a girdle of rent, and instead of, you know, Oh, yeah, these, I, look at these women out here are obese, oh monsters. <laughs> Tell me that obese yeah, monsters. Yeah, yeah. They will devour you. <laughs> they're obese. The obese Israelite woman is a problem in America. And, and the big bitches, they be thinking they the shit. Remember on Friday? When he oh grew, yeah. He said my friend like Jenna Jackson. He said, don't you ever, 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 uh, ever come back over here. <laughs> She thought she was all that in the bag of chips. But, but, but everybody gonna hit it though. Yeah. Everybody still gonna hit it. Jay gonna eat it. Yeah. He gonna spread. He gonna spread them cheeks. <laughs> you know? I know a dude at work. He, be, he like the big fish. He be nasty. He be eating nasty. Oh shit. no bro. no no. He be nasty as hell, bro. He be telling. They was walking by. You said they was looking at you like, oh <laughs> oh, hold on there, buddy. Hey, hold on there, buddy. <laughs> shit. Hold on now for a second. She probably is. She heard that. I, they, they was laughing. Damn. <laughs> I was trying to sense you. You're like, hold on now. It's like, that's what they be doing, though. Yeah. That's what they be doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness, man. And then you be seeing the big bitches with them, uh, them little, little shirt, shirt shorts and stuff uh, like that. Whatever, shirts, but whatever. The, the big women, were, yeah, they wear the, the black tight pants like the skinny girls. Mm -hmm. They think it makes them look better. It takes all the fat and it sucks it up. You know when they take the pants off, it just goes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what's that? What's that noise when the shit falls from the sky? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, they said I was listening to the radio. They said America is the number two obese country in the world. The number two obese country in the world. I think the first world. Yeah. So this is a, that's a problem. It's a problem. Okay. <laughs> Why does the spirit keep doing this all day, bro? All day. Did right, you just yeah. see it keep happening? Yeah, yeah. Look, bro, cause I could I would say the obese women and then a bunch of fat I promise you. They right there, bro, a bunch of fat I oh, man, that's like and then they look they look mad or yeah. they walk right by. I tried to, I promise, I tried to as look soon at as them. I said I was trying I tried to look over there like That's the Lord <laughs> doing this. I was just saying a, a, a obese I was just talking about obesity and a bunch of fat women walk by. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can and before we was talking about the head coverings and all that, then they walked by. That's been happening all day. I didn't even see them. As soon as I said they walked by, and they looked right at me when I said it. <laughs> and they, they, you know they got cut when they heard that. Yeah, I could tell that she was, she was looking. I, I could see it corner of my eye. She was looking at me. I was like, and then I was trying not to look. I was about to bust out. I didn't want to laugh right in her faces. I was, I, I, I was about to just bust out laughing. Because the Lord, man, the Lord does stuff like that. It's, it's a crazy spirit out here. I think your girl, I think they've been up there recording this the whole time. That's good though, you know what I mean? Share it, you know, hit the like button. You know, share, like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. YouTube channel. Just woe into the wicked. <laughs> it's the, it's the, um, it says, instead of well set hair, baldness. Oh, that's what these women bought. <laughs> I'm waiting for the next example to come up. No, oh Blue shit. Your girl there with a bad dad, I'm filming this. She oh, got a bald head in there. It's like, oh, since he heard us now, she got that little <laughs> microphone out there. She gonna beat my ass. Oh, shit. I got your Oh, man, they was, they was, remember the other people that was chilling around the corner listening to us the yeah, whole time? Yeah, they thought they were slick. Yeah, they thought they were slick, bro. Yeah. They popped out. Yeah. <laughs> I got your ass. Those are dickens. What kind of dog is that? Look at this guy. He's all wooly. Look like a sheep. Look at this guy. What kind of dog is that? That's a thorough, that's a badass dog. Man, you know she got some money. Oh, she got a knife. Ooh. It's been a crazy spirit out here today. Yeah. It's, it's a, it says, uh, and instead of a stomach curve, girdle, uh, a girdle of <laughs> sacrifice. A girl of sackcloth, yeah. And yeah, these women, really, they suffering. Oh, these women are all depressed, you know? They think they're so cute and everything, but they really suffer from depression. These yeah. women are mentally ill. Yeah. They're really mentally ill. They're whacked in the head. Our women are whacked. There's no communicating with them. There's no talking to them, reasoning with them. They're whacked. 
except for like there's two of y'all out there. He's you know, because what about old Margaret or Mary? It's like that's you gonna get mad at me now. Right. <laughs> Margaret, old Margaret on the comment board is gonna get mad at me. It's like, oh, you know what I mean? If, the, if you women out there, if you're doing what the Lord says, don't have nothing to worry about. Don't worry, you know. Just because we out here talking smack about women, that doesn't mean it includes every last one of you. Yeah, we talk smack about men. Yeah, we don't yeah. say shit about that. Yeah, exactly. Because there's going to be a lot of women delivered. And you know, a lot of young women, mostly. A lot of young women. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what we're going to need them for. It's like, yeah. they're they going to get on us every time we say something like that. Yeah. We're going to have to repopulate the earth. Hey, just like with Noah and his three sons, they had to populate the earth. Remember the Lord said, go replenish the earth? After they got off that ark, he said, now go replenish the earth. It says, and, and, and burning instead of beauty. Oh, now these oh, that women now, they said, they got burning instead of beauty. And you, you can see it. That's why you get, uh, United States has a record high STD rate. I think they said, what was the number? Over 150,000 people are on record having STDs. Yeah, y'all worried about the vote count. Shit. I need to worry about the STD count. You know? But it is America. It's over half the country has STDs. And all these women, they burning, you know? That's so good. I seen her before. She cute though. That's why I'm giving a little girl like that, you know. That's what she's like. One of them old Methodist women or one of them old uh, church on a Sunday head ass woman, yeah. you know, coming with a picnic basket on the lawn. <laughs> oh, Mary Sue looking ass. <laughs> Let me give me one of them. So I don't like. I don't. I don't know. I don't know about these hood hood bitches. I'm good on them. I'm trying to get me a good girl, you know. That's what you need. You gotta get you an, a, a submissive woman. You just, you know, that's what a, you need—a submissive woman. Oh, the camera about to die. How's it gonna die when I say that? We're gonna. <laughs> hey, the woman's supposed to call the man Lord, though, for real. It's a, it's a beautiful thing for a woman to be. Uh, what's it? Uh, subjective to the husband. I gotta turn this off. Shalom.